Liberals try and blame President Trump for Obama-era images from 2014 showing immigrant children in cages. And here is more from Fox News on that story. Liberals trying to hammer President Trump on immigration only to have this backfire in a big way. It turns out the article that they were tweeting so a paper in Arizona, it showed pictures of immigrant children in cages. Well, this was actually from 2014 during President Obama's term, not President Trump's. They quickly deleted those tweets, their mistakes. But are they still just as outraged now that they find out that it wasn't the president, the current president? Here now to debate that. Talk America radio contributor Kimberly Klasick and Democratic strategist David Morey. Guys, thanks so much for coming on this morning. Good David, I want to start Hi. with you. This article now is four years old. Uh, I don't remember a lot of outrage when this article came out at the time, uh, and these tweets have since been deleted. Uh, how do you defend that? Well, I think that it sounds like they were wrong. They should say they were wrong. Yeah. This issue, Rob, uh, you know, is one of many administrations. The Bush administration, the Obama administration brought illegal immigration down substantially. So has the Trump administration. It's kicked back up. This is about polarization more than policy, and it divides ourselves one part against another. It ignites one extreme against another. And we see that the blame I'm saying is everywhere. Multiple administrations, Congress, the White House, Democrats, Republicans. And if we merely abrogate to the states and the courts, Rob, we're not going to necessarily like the solution that happens. The administration may not like the solution that happens, and it'll continue to ignite ourselves. We need a bipartisan bill after these midterms. Okay, and yeah, there's a lot to talk about in the immigration debate. Kimberly, I want to go over to you. Uh, when this article came out, uh, do you recall anybody being outraged at, at these pictures? Do you remember a big backlash? It seems, though, uh, that maybe this was what they call selective outrage because the president, uh, the current president, is responsible. People got mad, and maybe now they're not. Yeah, no, I never even heard of this article until uh, it came out recently, uh, falsely. So unfortunately, we live in a time where the climate is that we're going to smear President Trump and his administration at all costs. So you have liberals and anti-Trumpers doing whatever they can, even inadvertently uh, ruling out their ounce of credibility just to take him down. Um, Sean King, for him to post this photo from 2014, this should end his career. Uh, he, not long ago, I would say probably a month ago, posted Posted about a Texas police officer um, allegedly sexually harassing and raping a woman as he apprehended her. It turned out that that was false, and luckily they had body cams to prove that. So mm. I asked in 2014, why wasn't President Obama held accountable for these photos? Mm. In 2010, President Obama had all three branches of government. He could have done something about DACA and immigration, and he decided not to. And I have to point out, many Democrats decided to vote against the issues as well. David, over to you. I want to show you this uh, response tweet after Linda Sarsour, who's a very polarizing figure in this country uh, in the first place. She deleted the initial tweet from Sunday, and then she posted this. No amnesia here. Our immigration system is a disaster and was a disaster long before Trump came along. Now it will become increasingly worse under this white supremacist administration who have made their hatred for immigrants crystal clear. Is that a fair response in your opinion? No, of course not. I mean, it's back to my first point. This is political extremism, polarization, one side against another. I mean, in fairness, Kimberly, you know, the Trump administration uh, is not just the only people getting smeared. They're doing a little bit of smearing themselves. This has become a political issue. Hmm. The president's gone hard to his base. He's over-serving his base probably more than any president in history. And that's solidifying the base, but it's not necessarily solving the problem. I'd love to see after these bloody midterms, Rob, a bill that has names on it like McCain and Graham, a bipartisan bill that gets to a solution as opposed to everyone accusing everyone else of all kinds of, of smears. Working between the aisle. Remember those days, how novel yes. that was? a long time ago. <laughs> hey, Kimberly, I want to ask you real quick. Is this a clear picture of how polarized we've become, that it, it almost seems like people are only angry when something is done by somebody from the other team? When their guy does it, they don't really care? Absolutely. And I have to say, Dave, I understand, but you have to admit that President Trump is taking the brutal beating here way more than Obama has. And I just ask no. going forward that these self-proclaimed journalists just do some fact-checking and research before dragging people for their narrative and their agenda. 
Lots of lots of beating going on here. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming on. That was a great discussion on this topic. We appreciate it. All right. So if you'd like to help support the channel, do so by clicking the links in the description below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below as well. Tell me how you feel about this report. And let's make America great again. I appreciate you. Peace.